What's up guys? Thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, it's brought to you by none other than Major Key Physiques. And I'm wearing some right now. Major Key Physiques is a New Zealand based bodybuilding and fitness brand. They have a complete range covering men's, women's and accessories. Everything is sized from small to triple XL. International shipping is always available. The products have all been designed with both aesthetics and quality at the forefront. With over a thousand happy customers and shipping worldwide, there's no reason why you shouldn't check them out. Head down into the description box below, check out the link www.majorkeyphysics.com, use code JACOB20 for 20% off, and come and join the team. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the video. Peace out. Right my friends, how are we? Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and it's my absolute pleasure to bring you my reaction as a rugby player for 25 years to this guy, Chris Jones, defensive end for the Kansas City Chiefs. And uh, look, I've done my best. I do have some, some Kansas City memorabilia behind me, and actually I've got one down there too, the Kansas City Chiefs flag. But as far as what we've got in front of us, Chris Jones, to me, has always rung a bell because of the fact that I followed the YouTube fitness community for so many years before getting into the world of American football. And there was only one Chris Jones that I ever knew of. And it was the Chris Jones from the fitness community. Now there's another Chris Jones in my vocabulary. And uh, what a player he is. He's an enforcer. He's a defensive end. He teams up with another guy, Frank Clark. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But with that in mind, it's time we roll the intro and crack into it. So let's get into it. First cab off the rank, talking about Chris Jones, is none other than Zadarius Smith. And uh, look, I don't know about you, but I always love a bit of Z Smith, so let's go. 95, Chris Jones. Yeah, he's dominant. He's legit. <laughs> how can you not... Guys, how can you not appreciate the demeanor of the man? I've never heard nothing like it, guys. And what I've never seen, nothing like it. Triceps like this. Looks photoshopped. Quick story. Uh, we tried to recruit him at the University of Kentucky. And I was his host. And he said, Z, what made you come to the University of Kentucky? <laughs> I said, man, because my coach came here and I know the exact things to do to get to the next level from here. I was like, man, if you come here, you'll be in no same situation. And he was like, you know what? No, Z, I'm not coming to the University of Kentucky. I said, oh, man. I said, where you want to go then? He was like Mississippi State. And he went to Mississippi State. From there, he got drafted to the Chiefs. And ever since then, man, he's been dominant. Cool story, Z. Very physical, man. Large. Large, 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 like almost like where Very physical. you can come and play offensive line. At 6'6", Chiefs defensive tackle Chris Jones has been a towering force since he came out of college. And it may be fitting that instead of a wildcat, he ended up a bulldog. Because Hang on, defensive tackle or defensive end? Are they the same thing? No. No, they're not. There's four members of a classic defensive line, right? The two tackles and the two ends. I don't want to put my foot in it again, but look, I'm going to call him a defensive lineman. Because the Mississippi State product, Devin, has the bark to go with his butt. Get your ass down. This big dog right here. <laughs> yeah, he talks smack. Yeah, he's big dog, right? Um, in fact, he's probably about 315 pounds. Let's have a look. I mean, let's be real. That's a big dog. That's a big dog. We have had a, a couple of rugby players. We've had a fair few gridiron players as well. But the one we're looking for is this one. 27 years of age, 6 foot 6 and just under 300 pounds. As we heard, went to Mississippi State. Decided to forgo his senior year and enter the 2016 NFL Draft. Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh, Jones was invited to the NFL Combine. and Look, I've probably read this before. And I'll probably read it again. But it, but it has just hit me again. <laughs> While running the 40-yard dash, Jones had a wardrobe malfunction that exposed his genitalia before falling to the ground to fix the issue. This went viral on social media. Um, 
Do we look it up? No, no, I'm not going to. I'll let you guys do that. So he's a Super Bowl champion. He's a two-time Pro Bowler. He's just signed a second deal, a four-year contract. Well, actually, no, he signed it last year. Worth $80 million. 20 mil a year. Not bad. And uh, he finished the 2020 season playing 15 games. 36 combined tackles, 23 solo, 13 assisted, 7.5 sacks, which brings his career total to 40.5 in, in five seasons. 40.5 sacks in five seasons, including 15.5 in 2018. Four passes deflected last year and two forced fumbles. The man is a beast. The man is an absolute problem out there. He a big dog. Yeah, for sure. I own that dog. <laughs> You better run the other way. Every time we play Kansas City, he's yelling at Gruden. Like, you can't run that over here, like, from the field. And we just like, man, like, but, I mean, he's backing it up. Cocky, I'll get out. I'll be honest with you about that, but he's special. It's not a dull moment when, when Stone Cold Jones is in the building. This is where you get your money right here. This is where you go in the Hall of Fame. Did you know they passing? Watson being chased. Chris Jones has him. from the three technique it's really just him and Aaron Donald are in their own world and I mean, if you don't cough up for him he's gonna wreck the game Jackson to throw he's hit the ball is out and picked up by Kansas City Chris Jones I actually missed that one what happened there cough up for him he's gonna wreck the game oh there he is Jackson to throw he's hit the ball is out and picked up by Kansas City Chris Jones that was a forced Maybe fumble. It doesn't matter that in college, Chris Jones chose to be a bulldog rather than a wildcat. It will be a safety! Chris Stone Cold Jones gets two points! No, he might not have gone to the University of Kentucky, but he still made it to the next level. Because in the NFL, no matter how you describe him, he's become one rare beast. Like he's just a different species, different type of cat. Always right, much love, y'all. Chris Jones is... He's a dog. Yeah, most definitely. He a dog. It kind of looks like almost Speaking like of which, Quentin Nelson's next, a.k.a. Mr. Pancake Block. And uh, with that in mind, it's time to crack into it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, that is another video done. And apparently I've got a phone call coming in. Better go and get it. Hang on. All sorted guys, time to move on. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit that like button and it would be much appreciated. Thank you. And good night.